Hey guys, I'm Andre. I'm Ailton. I'm Tristan. And this is ATV. Now we're getting into Ruby Volume 2. I mean, Volume 5, <laughs> Chapter 2. The and second episode of the new yep. season. Yeah, the and newest season. Pretty much exactly where we left off is they finally. Austin just came in. Or Oscar Pine. Austin. Yeah. Mm, Austin. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> And so, oh, yeah. come, there was a lot of yeah. stuff to happen though. Uh, yeah, I'm fun. just saying about like what happened right at the end. There was stuff about the White Fang, where mm. they're kind of playing. The, uh, the two people that showed up, I forget their names, the Barrett, Barrett guys or whatever, they uh, are Boston. pinning. They, uh, the phone that they captured from Iliad just talks about uh, whatever their names are, uh, the brothers talking about that. Iliad has gone to Taurus and how disappointed they are. Mm -hmm. So they're put, putting all the blame on her. Yang is looking. We still don't technically know that she's just looking for her mom. Yeah. That she's not looking for Ruby. Maybe she's going to look for Ruby and trying to find her mom on oh, the way yeah. there. Or she's actually just gonna go to her mom. Yeah, because she also just got a hint. Apparently, this guy yeah. seems to know something. Yeah. So it seems like that's probably that gonna be a bigger priority. Yeah. Which. It sounded like in the end of the uh, volume four that she was gonna go to Ruby with the way she said it, but <laughs> then we have Weiss yeah. on her thing. She heard her transmission and is kind of hesitant on not going there, but the guy doesn't want to go there because he just wants to do his job to get her there and leave. Yeah, yeah but something. I mean, I understand that. You don't wanna, but, uh, she, she wants some trouble. She wants to be a hunts, a uh, huntsman, which is to save people, yeah. a huntress actually. To save people, and that's kind of against what that she's doing right now. And then we have the big plot line of Ruby and the, and her company, where they went to the Professor Lionheart, told them so many stuff. We now have Watts finding knows the location of the Spring Maiden and the Bandit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oscar showed up. Yeah. And just told them that he's Ozfin. Yeah. Okay. Crow yeah. got drunk. Yeah, that was funny. That was Hilarious cool. stuff, man. <laughs> highlight. Yeah. And I don't think it ended just like that, right? Or yeah, it? it just ended. And then, yeah, so it just and then it ended. Oh, well, no, yeah. you talked about Ruby Rose, right? So well, yeah, but... It was like, this is Ruby, like, remember he was asking where Ruby Rose yeah. was? Yeah. Yeah, but it he ended... Silver eyes. Like, it ended know? when he said that he that they were he was Austin. And mm -hmm. that's that's what we're caught up from now, I guess, yeah. to recap. Yeah. So let's just get... Yep, not much to say, but so let's just get into it. Oh, we have line we power. There's Watts. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, he's working for both sides. Oh, he's tricking one. Don't know. Fight. Crow's team, looks like him. Look at that mustache and moving like a rat. <laughs> Let me smile. The only good thing about him is that he's voiced by Chris Savage. Yep. Oh. You know, Vegeta. Yeah. That's who he's voiced by. That's why it's so sick. Ah, oh, it's one of those creepy things oh, again. It's octopus. After looking. you. Cackle. Your Grace. Oh, you there? One of those creepy tentacle things that she used to tell him. Hello, Leonardo. Do you have something to report? Of course, ma'am. Leonardo, I your time is not. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. Uh, Cinder, dear, are, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? Well, this clearly Peasants with no technology. Shut up. Oh, goody. Hey, she can talk. Man. Recovered. Yeah. Your report. What is it? I've... I've found the Spring Maiden. Is that so? Well done. Arthur. Had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago. As much as I'd love to take credit, ma'am, I can't say that either of us have to thank for this development. I guess you could say a little birdie told us. Explain. You see, ma'am, Crow Bronwyn arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. He believes Spring has I taken refuge with alive. his sister's tribe. Is the girl with him? 
Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance. And you know of the tribe's location? Yes, ma'am. But you have to hurry. Crow's already at odds with my Oh my gosh, yeah. Leonardo. Doesn't play do around. you remember the first time we met? I remember. I remember your fear. But since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. I won't forget all that you've done for me. Tentacles. Do not forget everything That's disgusting. I do to you. There you go. Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts and together convince Raven Dr. Bronwyn that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. Once you have Spring under control, escort her to the Relic and contact Hazel. The White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once we have what we need. Understood. Not you, together. Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. What happened to his old one? Yes. Yeah, cut the down. silver eyed girl. <laughs> It will be done. What is Tyrion in the air? Is he there? Is he gonna go or is he gonna help me? Seems Crow was oh, teleportation. Right. The students are not pushovers. You're free to speak your mind. I don't understand. Working bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. Never Pretty sure Justin Negri is happy to have a voice role in this one. Yeah. Take Leonardo. He was one of Ozpin's most trusted, and yet now... No, there's my God. Oh, no, it's bad spot. You will have the power I promised you when the time is right. But remember that it comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. There's only so much I can do to aid you. Yes, Sente. Mm -hmm. And Cinder, before you go, inform Tyrion that I wish to have a word with him. Oh, no. I'm gonna get a promotion. <laughs> I know yeah, he's gonna right. die because she wants to. She's well, getting yeah. Watts to face his tail. So. He failed in capturing Ruby and he failed to kill Crow. Oh, yeah, because he said he killed the five she wants to talk to. Mm. Yeah. There's. Oh, she finally arrived, the Mistral. Did she not go to save the. It's kind of Floating awful. islands, everybody. No. Only if that happened in the real world. Mm, that'd be cool. Are we in feel good aim? Hey, don't stop, Dave. No, we're good. Passing by some of Lake Matsu's floating islands. The gravity dust that forms in these things has given us a little turbulence. Nothing I can't handle, but the islands sometimes hide some nasty grim. I'm just betting on like that one. No, that's not good. Sure. That's crashing. Look out! Jeez. Very dangerous. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, we lost Percy! Help! No, they're still, they're still there. They were here. Oh, are they getting attacked? Yeah. Oh, Ew. Oh, giant. They're like giant bee bugs. Wasps. Like, they're like big bee drawers. Hatch them all! They're shinies! Wow. That's fatal. That's not a safe uh, nice getaway thing. island. Freaking lances. All right, buckle up. Yo, she's a huntress. She can take care of herself. What are you doing? What we should have done in the first place. You're carrying dust, right? Officially, no. Actually, yes. Then when I tell you, open the rear door. Oh wow, she's elbowing up. Why didn't she have some in there already? Doesn't she keep dust in her I guess not. She ran out. 
wasn't very prepared then if she didn't have her own dust even. Mm -hmm. She got a sharp sword. That's a Whoa. String shot. I'm pretty sure. Wait, I'm, even though I'm saying this, I'm pretty sure that was her dust, I think. I think she might be doing something. Let's see. Was this action not good? Now fire. Oh, wow, that's so sick. Avatar. <laughs> Hold on. She's holding herself down with the gravity. Yep. Yeah, she's a good shark shooter, yo. She's okay. a sniper. She's a sniper. Just kill that other person so fast. Why didn't they say anything? It's gonna show you that they're serious now. Season 5 or before. I got an idea! Literally! Just magic, don't worry. Oh, she's gonna, he's gonna do one of those. I think he's gonna get close to the gravity. Let's see. Oh, no, he just. Are they? Oh, she's stopping it. Yeah, look at gravity. To make it look slower, easier landing. Oh. Uh, like they kind of seem like they have, like this Chinese bloodline has like the relic of creation. 
And they, they're that's what they're summoning. Oh, that's why they're creating stuff. So I want you to listen yeah. Because it, like, like how that looked, it, like, it looked like the opposite of the ground. Ilya. Oh, yeah. This guy I am The best guy. Oh, you you should beg for forgiveness. Oh. Else. That's mm. Khan. I mean, yeah. that's Shere Khan. Yeah. The tiger. The assault you led on Beacon was not the great right? victory you clearly mm. think it was. And you should be grateful your punishment wasn't more severe. Kill him. You are a symbol for many in our organization. That doesn't make you infallible. I was merely trying to follow your example, High Leader. And what example might that be? Strength. Strength and unwavering conviction. The humans have seen that strength now. I was one of the first to suggest violence where violence was necessary. Peace spread complacency. An acceptance of our place in the world. I will not allow humanity to push us down without pushing them back. Dude, the most racist. The crosses a line. The loss of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. You have justified humanity's campaign against us, and for what? Empty promises from a group of humans? Humans we still know nothing about, and come and go as they please. These are not examples of strength, Adam. They are examples of your talents being diminished by short-sightedness. If you want to know more about the humans, then why not talk to one of them yourself? You brought one? Hazel! Hmm. Oh. Took you long enough. See, every one of their the pawns is going to different yeah. Apologies. I don't aim to cause any trouble. You brought a human to this location? You should hear what he has to say. This is grounds for execution! Ma'am. Please. No one needs to die today. Damn, that dude. I'm he just says that because he like, had to kill them all. That's how I feel that he's using that as yeah. the longer you stay here, the less of a chance you have of leading a life. I'll take those chances, if you don't mind. Yo, know, he's so freaking cocky. So confident. You don't like me. You have no reason to like me. But you don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. I want humanity to fear the Foss, to know that we demand respect. I do not want to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. That's where you're wrong. We can win a war against the humans. He wants to be the leader. Not only because we have the support of Hazel's master, but because the Faunus are the dominant species of this planet. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have and more. Humans shouldn't just fear the Faunus. They should serve the Faunus. Jesus, guys, Sounds like Arlon. Yeah. Serve the fishermen. Take them away. I said take them away. Oh no. I will admit, Sienna, you were right about my popularity. My followers in Vale already see me as the true high leader. And many here in Mistral feel the same. Jill. Uh oh, they went against her. What are you doing? What's right for the Fawns? Do they From this day forward, I will be the one to lead the White Fang. They all went against her. You gotta back down, you know? Unless you don't beat them. If you think I'll just step aside and fall beneath you, you will. I don't play around. I know. <gasps> Thank you, Sienna. You were there when our people needed you. But they need me now. 
I'm sorry he couldn't see this through to the end. See, this guy's a real assassin. Damn, the leader just got wrecked. Okay, mm -hmm. that's barely... Give, Give our former leader a proper burial. All who were here tonight will claim that Sienna was murdered by a human huntsman. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final acts as high leader. So much for the huge hype for a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see her power. Her yeah, body. She's just dead. Why not? When were you planning on telling me about that? This was my business. Not yours. Well, it's our business now. And I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. Nobody needed to die today. He doesn't like people dying. Where's Blake now? I disagree. See, he's a villain on his own. He just wants to be the tall, he's the egocentric just... psychopath. That's it. Yeah. He's gonna keep... It's gonna be the same thing as like. Oh yeah, this part... like, the whole thing. Of, oh like, no, so part of one fang, I think. Mm. Help! Please. What do you think? Oh no. I think. Oh. Jeez. We just did the jackpot. Wait a minute, aren't you? You look like Yang. Why does everyone kick people in the face like that? So put them to sleep. <laughs> it's actually like the staple of Ruby of getting people to get knocked out by kicking them. Oh! <laughs> 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 everyone, I don't remember every like that is a Ruby. Uh, when uh, uh what's his name? It's been so long. Ooh, Blake? No, the first villain. Torchwick. Oh my god. Can I tell you how he did to Ruby? He kicked her in the face. Mm. Uh, he's like, he's like the staple of knocking people yeah. out of the room. Like kicking them in the face. Yeah. But that kind of sucks. It's yeah. like a, the whole fourth season was to hype out the white leader. Yeah, the high got leader killed right there. The white fan. Dead, just dead. And she looked cool. It was, uh, it was kind of rushed. Yeah, it felt. One yeah. episode, it's literally, she was introduced She's to like that. five minutes and yeah. she's dead. I guess she's irrelevant to what's gonna happen. Alright. Because Adam needed to be uh, in charge, that's the... That's the thing. I'm it's okay with that, change, but I don't know. I feel like Ruby, it's a thing of a... Like, it's a thing that I feel uh, quite a few people have said about Ruby as a series, is that People love the world that it lives in and all of that, yeah. but the plot lines don't aren't fleshed out and yeah. enough. Yeah, there should have been more like. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of showing more of how it's just a a web like a web like too, a kind of thing, right? No, how it's made on the it's an it's internet, internet made by people on, on the internet type thing. Because it's not fleshed out. It wasn't that wasn't fleshed out. They should have kept their there should yeah. there could have been way bigger storylines about that. Because obviously. It, you can say anything you want about cartoons and TV shows about now, but a lot of it it's for merchandise reasons. Yeah, why there's the problem, why yeah. there's a character when like oh we probably shouldn't kill a character off because maybe we can make money off of like yeah. like no, the toys or merchandise yeah. off of that character. But that also leads to a thing of we have to make the character likable mm -hmm. and cool and, and like, like people great. that people mm -hmm. that want and that also keeps cool characters in series. Yeah. Like the it it's had to say but like it is a po popularity contest after it's like we can keep but then that also makes it for some of the most impactful moments for when it's like oh this person is going to die like this person that super was super popular is going to die now. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like they could have that, uh, something like a coup de toss something like that could have happened at least midway through the season mm. after you see her. Yeah, like, after a while. Why kill her like, now? Like, second episode, first appearance, yeah. just... Just dead. It's like, now... It's so, kind of rushed. Yeah, it's not rushed, because now it's like, oh, now, after everything we saw from Adam Torton, 
Oh, from the things that anything could have gone wrong or everything gone right for him, he's just the leader now. Yeah, it's just it now really, he's the leader. It literally makes it just seem like they've wanted Adam to be the leader, but it wasn't fitting with the story. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so they had to get rid of her quickly yeah. to make him the leader. Because like, oh, he's going to be like the antagonist. He's going to be the, the fawnest antagonist to Blake's fawnest like story. Yeah, it looks like um, she, no, he has a different point here than the previous leader. The leader wanted. He just wanted like respect. Because there's the she first, the first fear leader. Fear. Yeah. There's the first leader that wanted to be wanted to equals as Vaughn, which is Blake's father. Yeah, yeah. Wanted equal rights as humans. And Sierra Khan, which pushed it a tiny bit further, is like they want fear. She wanted. She, she would want that uh, equality through any means necessary, even if it's like friends. And then now he just wants to kill everyone, kill all you. Yeah, now this one wants to and wants I, wants this humans to serve them. And I almost mm -hmm. pause it. It's not about quality anymore. So or, I, I don't like comparing too much series like series too much. I feel like people don't like that too much. But I feel like he's gonna be the exact same as Horty from One Piece. Is that it's just an ego thing, really? It's just the thing that he. I doubt he cares about the fawness. Obviously, because he just killed the leader. Just yeah. racist. He just for the betterment. It's of It's just their because society. he's been told and like. And things like that, and well, in a probably, way that unlike Horty, he, he probably, probably did experience, he experienced it too. stuff. Unlike Horty, Horty was a thing of like everything. He's he just grew to hate humans because everyone talked bad about it. And it was time. He was about the time. Horty was a, a, a creation monster, of the times. A, a monster created yeah. by the times he lived in. But uh, this one, it's like maybe he has a backstory. You know, and I feel like he just. I bet he's gonna. That made him really crazy. I bet. I feel, to him, he would give. He would kill the fa most fawnists as long as it would kill humans too. Yeah. Like how horrible he was. Yeah, so he can sacrifice his own time. Yeah, yeah as, lo as long as the humans get or, or suffer yeah. too. Or more a Sierra constant like Arlong, where you'd kill any human but it would not touch another fish, man. Yeah, so like, another, like. Or in this case, it's just more fawnists, right? We were ranting more about what we didn't like too much on. On this episode, which know. was the only thing I kind of didn't like, was that she died so fast. I don't know why. Yeah. There, uh, there was some, there was cool stuff that was happening. But yeah, got to see this B drill. Yeah, yeah. the whole Weiss, in the, the whole shot. whole Weiss thing was really. Yeah, cool. the Weiss part was cool. Was, um, I wish they saved. Cool. I wish they kind of saved. The people, yeah, I could see they did it. Just, I, I don't see why they didn't. It's just like, it's a thing. Of, again, going back to it, Ruby's just seeming like it's. Like oh, this world is completely horrible and th they which you yes it was it, it was portrayed that way at, for, at, even in the beginning, but and like and I get the thing of like oh losing hope but it's like the main characters are supposed to be that hope and it's like yeah, oh be there's that light. like and to me even not just about the hope thing the thing of like why couldn't they show Weiss being a huntress yeah like that's what huntress do they're supposed to save the people from Grimm and stuff like that yeah. but no they just showed. Weiss being a fighter, not a huntress. It's like, like a survivor and all that. Yeah, just like, being a survivor. Oh, like, she felt bad, but wasn't gonna do anything it's about like it. Dead. I don't know. The, the pilot. pilot like, the only Weiss was the person that came was out of it. We don't know. Yeah. Maybe he got captured too. Maybe he'll be relevant. Or maybe he'll yeah. be like that leader who just all got right, stabbed. So, I, we probably complained way too much about yeah. this one. But yeah, that was cool stuff in the episode. But Can't yeah, wait for the next one, right? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get into the next one and see, and hopefully that alleviates a lot of the problems we had with this episode. And uh, <coughs> so if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe so you can catch more videos in the future, and comment down below on any uh, video or series you want us to watch. That's all I said. See ya. See ya.